To configure your cloud storage, head over to myviewboard.com and go ahead and sign in. Once you're signed in, locate the Follow Me AI icon. It'll be at the top of the page and it looks like a person holding their arms up. Once you've selected that, over on the left side of the menu, you'll see an option called Cloud Integrations. Go ahead and click on that. And then it will list any cloud accounts that you have connected with your My Viewboard account. You can see here that my Google Drive account is connected and that my email is displayed next to it. It also indicates that it is my default account. If I wanted to remove Google Drive, I could unbind the account. Notice that I could also authorize other cloud storage accounts like Dropbox or OneDrive. When you have other services connected, you can choose which one you want to be your default. Once you've connected your cloud storage, you can head over and see that a My Viewboard folder was created in my Google Drive. Inside this My Viewboard folder, other folders will be created such as the background folder. These backgrounds sync to My Viewboard. Other folders in here won't get created until later like QR Share. And then some of these other folders I've just created on my own. Head over to My Viewboard to see how cloud storage works. So here in the magic box, which is our file import tool, we can see that my cloud storage is indicated here as the Google Drive icon. When I select it, it allows me to access my drive through my view board. If I had another cloud storage account connected, it would show up here next to it, allowing me to switch back and forth. Same when I use a tool like file management. If I click on that and I try to open a file, in the window I can see here again my cloud storage connected.